reading this story this morning, well, all four stories, may I say, it's absolutely unbelievable. I cannot believe what you have been through. And yeah. just to um, bring us right back down to earth for a moment, yeah. can I ask you straight away, why aren't you wearing your underpants over your trousers? Oh, <laughs> because you, wouldn't want to see you really, you are a superhero, aren't Thank you? you. Yeah, oh, yeah, well, uh, no, no. Well, no, you you're, have been you're, called you're it. Not say you that. have been called it. So you, listen, you're a part-time doorman. Uh, you used sure. to be in the army, so yeah. you've you've gone through a lot in your life. You've been through the medical training and stuff like that. Sure. Take me back to 2014. So you're in a petrol station. What happened? Yeah, just a, a, fe a fella came up to me and just uh, said that he's having a heart attack and could I, could I help him? So um, I just um, alerted the emergency services, sat him down, administrated first aid, and and monitored him really. And, Which is and, obviously and, the yeah. thing that we'd all hope that we'd be able to do in that sure, situation. Yeah. But and how lucky was he that he came to you? Yeah. I mean, it does seem to be that you seem to be there at the right place, at the right time. Sure. For people. I, I mean, have you sort of? You must have wondered about that over yeah, the last. Yeah. No. Few no. Absolutely. Years. But, but but at the same time, I'm happy that I, I can be there for these people. You know. I, I hope. I hope nothing else happens. To be fair. No. Well, yeah, I bet yeah, because yeah. that's so, just the first part. You must of be the looking. Story. You must be looking around yourself all the time. Yes. Take us. Take us through. The, um, the t t one of the others. The so next you, one. You were with your wife in the car. You were driving over a flyover. Sh sure. Yeah. Um, and um, I saw. Well, the traffic had stopped, but the the, the police was on scene. So. Um, I said to Natalie, do you think I should get out and help this police officer? Because I just thought I wouldn't want to be on my own in that situation. So um, I got out. I remember asking some, 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 some builders if, if they'd, they'd come and help. But, uh, and what was going on on this live? Um, there was a girl, uh, Natasha, which I, which I know now. She, she's obviously at the lowest point of her life. And um, she, was, she was on the bridge. So I, just, I went up to the police officer and said, w would you like a hand? And he said, yeah, he said, if she goes, which I think she's going to, just, just try and catch something. So I just thought, um, I, you, could, you could clearly see she was going to go at, at, at any time. And, and uh, I have to say that, that yeah. we've also got Matthew here, yeah. Natasha and Matthew, and I might bring them in now, as you've already mentioned. Yeah. Would you mind joining us? Yeah. Natasha, well, I can call you rescuees, can I? Yeah. Rescuees. Yeah, there we are. So Natasha we've just heard, actually, and, what, and what, what happened with Natasha. Yeah. Before we get to Matthew's story, I mean, the list is endless now. Sure. Fast forward a little while later, you're walking past a local river at 11 at night, yeah. and you see a woman drowning in... The river. Yeah, I mean, t to be fair, that wasn't a, a, a hard one. It was just a case of getting in there, getting getting her out, and and making sure her head didn't go under. But um, I think um, Natasha and Matthews were. were, were well, pretty so, that, yeah. so that was another yeah, chance. Yeah, and yeah. then six days ago, yeah. it was your birthday, and yeah. on your birthday evening, am I right in saying it was in the same river? Sure. Yeah. You yeah. see Matthew. Yeah has fallen down, and you go and save his life as well? Yeah, absolutely. Matthew, how are you feeling? I'm bumped and bruised, as you can tell. I've I can see, stitches yeah. in my chain. Yeah. Um, it was just a crazy experience, really. But, I just um, remember waking up in the what, river. What, what actually happened to you? What? what? I fell down the a banking. Uh, this is what I think's happened, because I've banged my head, and I've, I've actually woke up in the river, because I was, you was unconscious. Time, you were I was unconscious out. in the river. Yeah, I was just out on a night out drinking with, with my friend, like... And this was so recent, like, we were literally talking last weekend. Yeah, like, six days ago. How have you ago. been since, obviously, the weekend? I've been into work once, um, just been trying, trying to get on with my life, really. Can I just go back to... I mean, I, we're very lucky to have you both here. Natasha, what were you aware of when, when Gareth approached you? Um, what were you? Because it's a very different it, kind yeah. of rescue. It, it's an emotional rescue, not, yeah. not undermining the physical rescues, but yours was an emotional um, rescue. It all happened... Very quickly, to be honest, and Gareth kind of just disappeared once he'd grabbed me. So I, I never really got to see who we were and who it were that saved me. And, um, and Natasha, we, look, we don't need to go into details, but you were at a very low point yeah. of your life. Yeah. Um, there were other people on the scene there trying to help you. Yeah. Um, obviously, this man walks in and he's the one that manages to do that job yeah. and, and get you to safety. Yeah. Um, I know you've spoken to Gareth and you, you've all spoke already, but what would you publicly like to say to him? I would like to thank him. I don't... The words can't describe how much I want to thank him, cos he saved my life, didn't he? He really did. Yeah, and he have really you really kept did. in touch since? Yeah. yeah. And will you keep and in touch as well? It's exactly the same for me. It is, 
it, as well as the human chain as well. I know. So, these, to mention, so for those that don't know, Gaz says at the bottom, a lot of people he had well. me on his shoulder. There was a few the people. Yeah, quite Matt's rescue. I was actually, steep. I was actually in danger myself in the end. And if it weren't for the guys, that, you know, the local community doing a human chain and, and getting us out, so we really need to mention them as well. And, and is, it, is this and a little injury as well that you've sustained yourself? Well, my finger spun round, but the worst of it was is I nettled my entire body. Uh, oh no, uh, not the nettles. Oh. Even my ears. Oh. <laughs> you've got the river, yeah. you've got the rocks, but it's yeah, the nettles yeah, that'll get you. It was the worst point of the river, apparently. Yeah, yeah, it's really bad. Are it's, you going to get some public say. recognition for this? I, I don't know. I think it does. I think, I think, this, I think, this, this will I do, think right? we need to. I think we need to start something off that you're going to be recognised. Well, Derbyshire Police actually have said that they're aware they of what that, you've done, yeah. and they're looking into how they can formally oh, recognise right. you publicly, which I think award, needs yeah. to be done. I think you've even said, haven't you, Matthew, that you uh, you deserve an OBE. It needs it needs an we'll, award of some kind. We'll look yeah, forward definitely. to that and definitely cover it. But the, the, your biggest fans, I have a feeling, are just over here. Come on in. So this is your wife, here's Natalie. Natalie, and here's Max, the children. Max and Maggie. Max Look and at Maggie. these. Hello. Hi. Hi, guys. Hi, Maggie. So, how so are you? How do you feel about your old man? Really, really proud. And so are the kids. It's I bet they are. I bet superhero they are. Superhero in Max's eyes. And 